Hi, Grandpa. Your mother thinks we're schnorrers. Hi, Grandma. Your grandfather's being stubborn. Hi, Mommy. Go back to bed, Ethan. What do you think? Absolutely yes. not. What? what? Put think some thought into it, this, Rose. What's there to think about? Two. Papa, do not have one of your knee-jerk reactions to this. This is not a knee-jerk reaction. I heard your offer, and I instantly knew it was stupid. What are you reading? A book. Is it Peter Rabbit? It is not Peter Rabbit. I read Peter Rabbit. Next up, Proust. Does this necklace work? If you have to ask. Changing the necklace. Mama, can I borrow your banana pin? It's in my jewelry box. But if you're gonna do bananas on your dress, change your cherry earrings. Too much fruit seems lazy. Good morning, Susie. Tell me you're happy living in Queens. Go on, tell me. Well. Look whose hobby is being snobby. I like this idea. You like? She has us in the guest room. So? So, when you have guests, they'll sleep on top of us. If they're feeling frisky. Miriam, knock, please. It's a bathroom. My bathroom. You said the bathrooms were communal. Is that no longer the case? Yes, but why are you working in my, the, our bathroom? Miriam, I have no study, and I need a writing space. And it needs to be cozy, because I'm creative when I'm cozy. But you, our other bathroom is the same size. But too close to the room where your mother is trying to sleep. This would wake her up, and that would be rude. Boy, Abe, are you fun. This wasn't supposed to be an all-day outing, Moy. Stop that. The agreement was one ride on the Wonder Wheel, then home. Stop that. It did not include the whole of Coney Island. Stop that. We have now been heading toward the Wonder Wheel for a full two hours. We stopped for games and T-shirts and funny pictures of us sticking our heads through cutouts of bodybuilders and cowboys. I mean it. Mama, you're up and reorganizing my kitchen. Everything was jammed onto freakishly low shelves because your vertically challenged friend organized it that way. I thought the layout worked. For Tom Thumb, yes, or the Lollipop Guild, but not for normal-sized people. Hey, why did Shirley say Ethan's having a birthday party? His birthday's in November. Not anymore. Wait, what do you mean, not anymore? Uh, November was bad for us. I have deadlines. Moish has his spring fabrics arriving. Shirley's cousin Yetta is coming for a visit. I don't know what your mother's doing, but it was bad for her, too. I have work in. Yeah, and mother claims she has work, so... It just didn't work for any of us. Are you seriously telling me you rescheduled Ethan's birthday? Why do you have fur on your lip? That's called a mustache. It looks like a curly caterpillar. <laughs> it does not. It does. I think it moves. That's because I'm talking. <laughs> no. Fine. We'll do rock, paper, scissors. Ready? One, two, three. Who won? How does this affect you? You weren't going to be here for it anyway. What's the matter? Miriam's upset. We changed Ethan's birthday. Why? Papa, you don't just change a little boy's birthday. We changed your brother's birthday twice. He never found out. Who are you people? And wait, did you change my birthday? No. Who are you calling? It's a potential client, if you must know. Is this that matchmaking business again? I have to tell you, I don't get it. Well, you don't have to get it. Only I have to get it. How lazy are people, anyway? I mean, they can't just find spouses on their own. You didn't. Of course I did. I met you through a family friend, Sonia. Yes, Sonia, the matchmaker. I don't know how long my alleged wife went out with my alleged best friend. I told you I went out with Asher. You did not. I did, 20 times at least. Rose, I admit that sometimes I don't listen to you, but this time I was listening to you when you did not tell me that you shook my best friend. Papa, please. Oh, Miriam, uh, return this for me. Mention that he shorted me a dollar. Don't press it. I'm not threatening legal action. But if there was someone official around, complain in a very loud voice, then cry and faint. Wait, wait, wait! I want to talk to you. Please. And it wasn't humiliating to move in with Moish and Shirt. No, it was about a cover story. Love to hear it. We told people we're moving out of our old apartment due to Abe leaving Columbia, and that the fabulous apartment we rented to replace it fell through, and we were in litigation with the CD landlord to get our deposit check back, Mr. Crink. Who? The CD landlord, you don't listen. You gave the fake CD landlord a name? And we didn't want to lease another place until the lawsuit was settled, so we temporarily moved in with Moish and Shirley. We have a court case next week. 
For what? Are you not listening to get the deposit back from Mr. Crink? Our house is so empty now. Abe and I will visit soon, Shirley. I promise. Tuesday? I don't know about Tuesday. Wednesday? I'll make my cabbage. It'll be soon. You have my word. Your word is fairly meaningless, Rose. You know it, I know it. So let's set a date. Don't you borrow money from my father? Why is that bad? It's not. It sure is geese. I don't understand. What did she buy? She bought her apartment. What apartment? Our apartment, Abe. You don't have an apartment. Damn. They're old apartment, Dave. I can't believe you borrowed money from my father. It's rock, paper, scissors. Each thing beats something else. It's a kid's game, for God's sake. But what if I chose heat? Heat would melt the scissors. And burn the paper. So heat would beat everything but rock. Heat is not an option. Water would rust the scissors and ruin the paper. Are the scissors brass or steel? Mm. How about we just flip a coin? Sonia was not a matchmaker. Of course she was. No. Matchmakers get paid. No one paid her. Your mother paid her. What? Abe, for God's sake, you are 30 and unmarried. Plus your wardrobe. They had to throw in a savings bond and a Turkish ceremonial rifle set for my father. That's where he got that. I mean it. We cannot be late. That's right, Ethan. You can't be late for the doctor. Ah! Oh, no, we don't tell him he's going with the doctor. We tell him he's going on a fun subway adventure. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. Come on, Esther. Let's go talk your brother off that ledge. How did I become the bad guy here? Where did you get the idea to buy your apartment? How did I wind up in a cage with Petey and Jacob? This funnel cake is delicious. Ethan, is your funnel cake delicious? You never should have bought this place back, Miriam. I mean, what man is going to want a woman who owns her own apartment? You just have a point there. It does make you less feminine. Sorry, let me just hike up my shorts and get in a good man scratch. Now, what was that again? If we are going to eat, then let's eat. She never says something funny. It's all ridiculously contrived bon mots. That's all it is. They're not contrived. And if you'd studied French instead of Russian, you'd know it was bon mot. Well, that's most than I needed to know. Thank you. Sophie's contrived, but that's funny. OK, I heard that. Oh, we're missing the commercial. It's a laxative commercial. Yeah, but she does them, and she does them funny. She's so irreverent, and she's lost so much weight. I think I've said my piece. Peace would be nice. Amen. Okay, Papa, I know this is a shock, but look at it this way. You are doing something that you love. Yeah. The both of us pursuing our art. Although one of us pursuing banking would have been smart. Miriam, guess what? I have been invited to the Small Business Women's Council annual luncheon in Brighton Beach. Really? That's right. Your mother's now officially known as a small business woman. No, wait, a small women's business. No, I'm the owner of a business, and it's small, and I'm a woman, so, well, I'm getting a free lunch. Congratulations, Mama. Lenny, good morning. Would you like some coffee? Uh... We have bagels, bialis, grapefruit. Zelda could make you a blitz. Oh, yes. Go with the blitz. The blitz is a wonderful choice. I'm sorry. Who are you? Miss December. You look different. It was the night you were talking about Miss December. We were in jail together. Well, I've been in jail with a variety of people. Oh, by the way, we told the children you were in their room because you had a tummy ache from eating too many cookies. We'd like you to stick with that story, if you don't mind. This would put you back in your beloved neighborhood with your newsstand, your Zabars, your synagogue. A little place that you get that afternoon jelly donut at that you don't tell Mama about. Jelly donuts. All of that is perfectly accessible in the subway. Did I wake you? Sorry, I figured you'd be reading. Your mother made me turn out my light. Now, what is it? I need some help, but I'll ask you tomorrow. No, it's fine. I was just lying there thinking about how she made me turn out my light. I just can't get my checkbook to balance, and it's driving me crazy. What's going on? Nothing. Miriam can't balance her checkbook. Why on earth would you ever do that in the middle of the night? Eh? I live in a Dr. Seuss book. Thanks for blowing the donut thing, by the way. Why'd you name yourself Richard? He was like, because I want to be rich. Did you wash your hands? Of course not. Oh my god! You ever use Schmaltz? Same heart attack, different afterlife. Whoa, whoa, we were. High five. Even if I did know where the Antichrist was, I wouldn't tell you we're on opposite sides. I rather enjoy being on fleek. I eat a bug.